Welcome, namaste, and welcome to Dr. Shah's clinic. In this video, the, answer, the question we are going to answer is Does masturbation actually cause infertility? Now, many individuals you know, engage in masturbatory practices and masturbatory outlet based behaviors, usually you know, starting from the age of puberty and all the way even up to 35 and sometimes even up to 40 years of age. The problem with masturbation is now, in, there, are two, there are two particular scenarios where masturbation can actually lead to infertility, and what I've clinically seen here is that. In one scenario, if the individual or the patient you know, is you know, addicted to masturbation and pornographic content, the kind of desire and stimulation he gets from pornographic content, he will not get it with his conventional sexual partner or a stable sexual partner. From a neurological perspective, the kind of visual input and visual erotica that the person sees you know, in pornographic content can get him addicted to pornography and as well as masturbatory behavior. In these individuals, men typically avoid sexual intercourse with their partners and usually engage in you know, you know, the, the variety of, you know, impulses or you know the variety of um, erotica that they you know get to see on their computers or tablets or mobile screens and they get involved in masturbatory they find it very very hard to break away from it so you know that's something called as masturbate masturbatory addiction so this is something you have to resolve if you have to you know overcome the infertility issues that's one scenario right now the second scenario where masturbation can lead to infertility is a scenario where the individual is basically involved in a habit what's called as prone masturbation now in individuals who you are prone masturbators basically what they do is you know from childhood or the younger years or you know from the puberty they basically rub their organ on the bed sometimes on the toilet float and the toilet seat can be the wash machine they basically rub their organ and the friction from rubbing is helps them achieve you know ejaculation and also helps them achieve their orgasm so you know with prone masturbatory behavior what basically happens is patients usually have erectile dysfunction when they try sexual intercourse with their partners and prone masturbatory behavior can also lead to infertility. So these are two clinical conditions where masturbation can actually lead to infertility. One is masturbatory behavior, pornographic addiction, ultimately masturbation addiction, and number two, prone masturbation. I hope you like this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and share this video with all your friends and loved ones. This is Dr. Shah, signing off for now. Bye.